Hello there everybody, this is NDM here welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin uh, for the GameCube. So, in the last episode we uh, started up our new playthrough, we got our first ship part in the impact site, one out of two that you can get there. And in this episode we're going to make a start on the Forest of Hope, so let's do this. Hell yeah! Um, so I did watch the last video that I recorded, the first episode, I watched it, did an analysis of it, and it actually sounds a lot better. The only thing that kind of sucks, though, is that the microphone sounds a little bit more quiet than what it did on the first recording that I did, but, <clears throat> I mean, this is the best settings that I can get with the headset that I've found, even if my voice sounds kind of quiet, I mean, that's the best that I can do. And I'm not talking quietly, it's not like I'm whispering or anything, it's just that the microphone, the boost has been taken down, because that's what was picking up my breathing, was because I had the boost all the way up to 30%, which is the highest percent that you can have on your microphone boost. But anyway, uh, my dolphin has returned to the surface, along with the pigment's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the pigment out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press the A button. Alright, so let's call our Pikmin companions out of the onion, and we shall get 25 of them out of the onion, and throw them at the wall so that they can take it down for us. Shall then open up a pathway to the open plains of the Forest of Hope. Go on, buddies. Go for it. Alright, so I'm going to... Um, basically not look at the Pikmin doing that because that drops frames too so just have a, we'll just have a look at them, a look around I guess it might be wise to get them flowered up too which is what I'm going to do once they've taken that wall down because when you have flower Pikmin that helps a lot because that's the strongest form of Pikmin that you can get um, it goes from leaf then to bud then to flower um, Buds, you can only get bud pikmin if they're left in the ground for too long. Because if you leave them in the ground, they grow buds and then they eventually grow flowers. So you can leave the pikmin um, in the ground once you sprout them. You can leave them there for a while so that they can get their flowers and their buds. Um, <clears throat> you can wait for them to get flowers, but sometimes you don't have enough time to wait for them to get flowered up. So you might as well just wait for them to get buds instead and then because you can flower you can flower them like this if you just come over here and find a patch of grass and you get more in the sap stuff and that's what brings them out to be flowers another intriguing discovery a local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar when the pikmin drink this delicacy they instantly mature into flowers this apparent pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths and peculiarities of these flower pikmin. So yeah, uh, wow, I had to get one leaf pikmin, didn't I? One leaf! All of them flowers, and I get one leaf. Curses! <laughs> That's not fair, dude. That's not fair. <clears throat> I mean, the poor guy's gonna feel left out, because he's not gonna be as strong as his other brethren. Alright, so the easiest ship part to get uh, at this stage of the level is um, this one over here. But I'm going to carry these dead bulb orbs back to the onion so we can get some more red Pikmin on our party. <clears throat> can also knock down some of these pellet posies and get some more Pikmin that way too. Don't go too close to the bridge because you'll activate a whole bunch of these um, sheer grubs. And I think it's the female sheer grubs that don't attack you, but I think it's the male ones that do. Female ones are harmless, the male ones are not harmless. Wait. Yeah, not harmless. They will attack you. <laughs> it's the dark purple ones that will hit, that will um, damage your Pikmin, because they're the ones with the pincers. I want to try and avoid that area as best I can. You can't do anything over there anyway until you get blue Pikmin, so don't bother. 
At least I don't think you can do anything over there until you get blue Pikmin, because I think you need blue Pikmin to get to the other side of that bridge, because there's two bridges you have to repair, and one of them is on, like, an inaccessible platform that you can't get to without blue Pikmin, because blue Pikmin can only survive... Well, they, they're the only Pikmin that can survive in water. Um, every other Pikmin is... Um, <clears throat> is basically vulnerable to water and they will die. I don't know if to leave those there and just let them sprout into flowers or just take them with me. You know what, I'm just going to take these with me. And then we'll flower them up. Well, so far the lag is actually behaving itself. It's not dropping down to frames at an unbearable level that's completely unplayable, you know. So... I guess it's okay. And if I'm not satisfied with the entire LP, like with the lag and everything, I guess I can always re-record the game when I get like a, a new, um, a better capture card. I can go back and record it off of that. So, I mean, I'm not too bothered by it, but I have recorded a video of this before and I uploaded it onto YouTube, and it lagged, but. The lag wasn't, like, noticeable on the recording, so, yeah. At least I didn't notice it. I'm going to carry that back as well. Alright, so what you want to do here is throw all your Pikmin, all your red Pikmin up here. And the reason why I'm doing this is you'll see in a second. Because <clears throat> there's water here that you won't be able to get your red Pikmin in. But you can walk in water yourself. It's just the Pikmin can't go in there, otherwise I'll die. So then it will take you up around up to here, and you, as you can see there's a spaceship part that we need to carry back to the Onion, which is being guarded by a sleeping red giant bulb orb, which we're going to have to take out with all these Pikmin. So let's wreck, ha let's, uh, wreck some havoc, call some chaos, mass hysteria, Pikmin slaughter, go ahead and attack. Mm. Take down that massive bulb orb. Oh god, I'm losing Pikmin in the process of doing so. I don't know how many died just then, but... We do have enough to carry this back, though. It's the shock absorber. This apparatus counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's smooth sailing um, with this in place, usually. Alright, so it requires 30 Pikmin, I believe, to carry this back. So we're going to throw 30 on there. We're going to leave 6 behind. And I'm going to basically throw those remaining six Pikmin onto this bulb orb right here so they can carry that back once they get back to the space or the landing site. You can um, get these Pikmin to help carry that back. I don't know how many there are here though. There's six here that we can use. <clears throat> so they'll carry that back to this, this ship. That's fine. So we'll get back up to the uh, top of this ledge here. And then throw these bad boys onto the red bulb orb. So I'll take that back and then they'll sprout, be able to sprout some more Pikmin. Now this is the best way to do this um, second day cycle is to get this out the way over here. Oh god, well there is a little bit of lag there, I guess. <laughs> but we're only delivering a ship part, so it's not too bad. Shock Absorber. This nifty little device counteracts the shaking and swaying experienced in typical space light. I have now recovered two of thirty parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Hooray! Yeah! So basically what that means is once you get, um the required ship pass, which is three in this case, you can then travel to the next area of the game. And I'm not too fond of the next area, to be honest. I prefer this place. The next area is kind of dark and gloomy. But I guess the music is cheery, and that's <laughs> about the only good thing about it. <clears throat> well, I don't know. Actually, no, the music isn't really that cheery. It's not say it. it's more dissonant than cheery, I would say. Okay, to, 
to reduce some of this lag here, I'm going to put some of these Pikmin back into the Onion, because I also read on the Wikipedia that, yeah, Dolphin actually has a Wikipedia for this crap. Um, I read on the Wikipedia that if you have, like, a certain amount of Pikmin out in the Forest of Hope, it can cause some lag, so I'm just going to put some of them back. My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay co close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and the day display. At the bottom are my spacesuit, damage meter, and my Pikmin gorges. From the left, these numbers reflect Pikmin under my command. Pikmin in the field and total Pikmin, including those in onions. To adjust my monitor, I compress the L button to rotate the camera R to zoom and Z to change the viewpoint. I can also press Y to view a detailed computer analysis. <coughs> okay, so main business at hand, we're going to get this spaceship part taken back to the onion, because that would be the first order of business. And then we can take back some of these bulb orbs, I guess, but I think this uh, ship part actually requires 40 Pikmin to carry back. Why it's the eternal it's the eternal fuel dynamo. It has an alt, uh, it has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. Yeah, I got my words a little bit jumbled up there, and it does require four Pikmin. Damn it! I mean, I'm just gonna have to go back to the landing site to get some more Pikmin out so they can carry that. Well, uh, I guess you sprouted Pikmin. Actually, never mind. No, we're not going to take the sprouted ones out. Uh, I think, yeah, there's already 20 on there, so if we get another 20 out, that should be more than enough to help carry that back. So I'll we'll throw these onto the... Well, one of them just fell over just then, if you saw that. There you go, I'll take that back now. I don't know how many are left in the onion. How many are actually left in the onion? Because I need to break down one of these walls. Oh, there's only seven of them. Crap. Well, I guess we're going to wait until they can deliver this back. So we'll just mess around over here for a bit. There's still some grass here that I could pluck out to get some more nectar, I guess. If I, yeah, if I need to. If I need to, which I don't, I'm not really that bothered about it right now. More or less bothered about getting the ship part back in time. Come on, guys, ten hut, move it, move it, work those legs, work those little Pikmin legs, and get that damn spaceship back to the sp spaceship park. Damn, <laughs> back to the spaceship. Jesus Christ. Get that spaceship part back to the spaceship. Yeah, that's what I was meant to say. Jeez. Eternal fuel dynamo. This should light thing light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered three out of thirty parts. If I can find just two more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. So we need to find two more ship spaceship parts. And there is definitely more than enough to um, accomplish that feat in this area. Uh, probably not in this day cycle though. Unfortunately, um, so we're gonna try and break this wall down here. That's our next objective. Um, I'm gonna throw 20 to break this wall down, and then we're gonna focus on getting some of these ball bulbs. Okay, I threw way too many just then. <laughs> Never mind. I guess I'll help speed up the process a little bit more. Um, uh, this giant ball bulb here is obstructing the way. This thing needs to freaking die. Although, I'm not too confident about it. <laughs> Come on, kill it. Before they kill you, before it kills you guys, I don't want you guys to die. Uh, uh, he got one, I think. I don't know, though. Damn, this has turned out to be some epic, intense shit. I had 16 Pikmin upon fighting that thing, and I've got 16 still, so we didn't lose any. I guess that's something. <laughs> Alright, 
let's take some of these dead ball bulbs back. I'll take I'll only be able to take one of them. And then you two can help break this wall down, I guess. And then these Pikmin that are going to uh, taking this ball ball back, they can go um, back in their onion because I won't be needing them anymore. <clears throat> I don't want to take too many Pikmin out with me. And actually, these are turning into buds, so I might as well pluck them right now. I don't know if I sh actually need, no, I'm not going to pluck them right now. I'll leave them in there. They can flower up, I guess. They've still got time. It's not dawning towards the end of the day just yet. <clears throat> shove these Pikmin in the onion and uh, get back to the other Pikmin that are breaking the wall down. So let's go! How are you guys doing? Oh, you're done? Okay. Okay, that's good. Right, let's take these bulb bulbs out. You guys can actually carry these back, to be honest. So we've just found another onion. I wonder what Pikmin we're going to find in that particular onion. Well, we'll find out very shortly. Ugh, thought I was going to lose some Pikmin there as well. Okay, you need one more. Alright, now I'll take that back. <coughs> this one back too, and I'll leave these red ones here for now, um, and we'll activate this onion. It's a yellow onion, so that means we're going to get yellow Pikmin. Uh, you actually don't really use yellow Pikmin that much in this game. I've not played Pikmin 2, but I heard in Pikmin 2 that the yellow Pikmin are a lot more useful than in this game. Uh, yellow Pikmin are used to carry bombs, so they're like the they, they like deal explosive damage and they help break down walls by using bombs because there are only cert there are certain walls that need to be bombed down in order to access through. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has some has what in some circles could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter, they are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. Yes, and the yellow Pikmin can also be thrown at a greater distance, like they can, they're thrown a lot higher than any other Pikmin, so you can throw them up really high ledges that you wouldn't normally be able to throw, let's say, red Pikmin up, um, and blue Pikmin. Red Pikmin and blue Pikmin are thrown at the same height, I believe, uh, there's no difference in height difference, uh, that Olimar can throw, um, so I'm guessing yellow Pikmin are, um, a lot more lighter in weight than red Pikmin and blue Pikmin. So we're going to throw these back in the onion for now. And uh, at the end of this day cycle I'm going to sprout, uh, well I'll try and pluck the rest of them red ones but I don't think I'll be able to because I'm at the moment right now towards the end of this day cycle the best thing that you can do is try and get as many yellow ones as you can um, grown. So I'm going to try and grow a few of these before the day is over. Because you can always pluck the red ones out on the next day cycle. They won't disappear. They'll always stay uh, firmly implanted in the ground. So you don't need to worry about plucking them just yet. <clears throat> yeah, there's plenty of time for that. And also it'll give them more of a chance to flower as well. Actually, shoot. To be honest with you, that is a good point. Some of them can actually disappear if you don't pluck them within time. So maybe it might not be a wise idea to be doing what I'm doing right now. My clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath our dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions on their own, but if I don't call the stragglers and add them to my group, they may not be able to get back. I am sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I am somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. 
Yeah, that's what I was talking about in the last episode, so I don't really need to explain that in any more detail. That pretty much explained it all for you right there, so... I'm gonna put these yellow ones in, and I want to quickly get back to the landing site, so I can try and get some of them red Pikmin plucked before they disappear, because that would not be a good thing to happen. Unfortunately, the yellows are just going to have to stay leaves for now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have time, if I'm being honest with you, to get back to the landing site. I'll try and pluck these ones, put them back in the onion, then make a very fast-paced run back to the landing site before the timer goes down. Alright, let's do this. Speed running 101. Can we make it back to the landing site before the time runs out? Oh god. Run, Olimar, run! Run faster than the Pikmin run! Quick! Get some of these plucked. Damn it. God damn you! <laughs> pluck, pluck like you've never plucked before in your entire life. Come on, dude. No, I got some of them, but they were about to disappear by the looks of things. Some of them were going down as I was plucking them. Well, I saw a flower one disappear anyway, into the soil. So. Well, at least we got some of them plucked. That was actually a good day cycle. I, I managed to get quite a lot done. Well, most of the things that I wanted to do get done anyway. We got um, the two ship parts, and then we got the yellow Pikmin activated, so we now have the yellow Pikmin on our team, and uh, we also have red Pikmin. We have some um, additional yellow Pikmin sprouted too. Two days since impact. It, see, it appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can't, if I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances? Then I'd only have to press Y to locate my parts. Yet. There seems to be many hostile life forms here. If I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship and st stand in front of it and press A to make sure to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. So yeah, Olimar can also take damage as well as Pikmin. So we lost one Pikmin. That's not too bad actually. Um, out of 80 that we sprouted, we have 105 in total. Um, yeah, that day went really well. That could have gone a lot worse, especially considering the ball bulbs we fought. I mean, geez. <laughs> they, they were really close to taking out some of them Pikmin, but um, we managed to come out unscathed, pretty much, apart from one of them. But um, yeah, I guess that concludes this episode. We got 27 parts remaining out of 28 days left, so we've got three spaceship parts in total, and I guess that concludes it, so we'll save. Okay, everybody, so in the next episode of Let's Play Pikmin, we shall make a return to the Forest of Hope uh, with our newfound Pikmin species, the Yellow Pikmin. Uh, which we can then use to bomb out some of the walls that we've seen around the Forest of Hope to get us some more spaceship parts. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take everybody to see my next video, and goodbye.